Live, local, late breaking. This is WPBF 25 News at 5. Millions of dollars are coming to Florida to help underprivileged children. Governor Rick's woman told them he attacked her while she was in her car with a 13 month old son and two other women. It happened when she rejected his attempts to get back with her. He's also accused of pointing a gun at her. Millions of dollars are coming to Florida to help underprivileged children. Governor Rick Scott announced the plan to provide $9 million to boys and girls clubs throughout the state. Erin Guy talked to our local chapters to find out what it means for them, and she joins us live from Riviera Beach. Erin? Well, Todd and Tiffany, a big sigh of relief here in Palm Beach County for sure. Like many organizations, they're always pinching pennies, but now with $9 million coming to organizations all over the state, they say they aren't going to have to turn away hundreds of kids, and they're all going to have a seat on the bus. A mentor or a good group of friends could mean the difference between oh life God. on the streets or a life contributing to the community. It means everything. Like, I've been so long, it's a part of me. For 17-year-old Taquan Priester, this has been his hangout since he was eight. He now has the goal of working here, and he just recently learned that the Boys and Girls Club of Palm Beach County is about to get much better. We will get a significant amount of money because we do have a large population of, of children that we serve. The funding comes from Governor Scott's Florida Families First, $9 million spread across the state. What it means for all of us is that approximately 40,000 children will be served who are now waiting for services. And in Palm Beach County alone, hundreds are turned away each year because of lack of funding, something that will now change. The need is huge, and right now we're turning kids away, kids who could be served. And the one thing that I say over and over again is kids don't wait, they just grow up. And kids should not grow up alone, afraid, and at risk. And this means less kids will. The money should be in place for next school year. The plan, use the money to add more kids, strengthen the mentoring program, and to teach kids how to make the right choices. As for how much, that depends on the county. It will be a formula, uh, but every Boys and Girls Club in the state of Florida is going to see some cash, and they're all smiling like I am right now. And the kids are too. I'm excited. It's, it helps build a future for the, for the younger kids that's coming here now. Well, it's not just Palm Beach County. Again, all counties from the Palm Beaches through the Treasure Coast going to be seeing this money. Well, of course, it is summer camp time. That money won't be in place for this year's summer camp. But we did some research today to find out about what camps are safe for your kids. Turns out not everyone is doing the background checks that you may think they may be doing. We did some research and found out what parents need to be asking. We'll have more on that coming up tonight at 6. We're live in Riviera Beach, Aaron Guy, WPBF 25 News. Aaron, thanks.